Alice Grey and welcome back to another episode of Grey Matter, the series of science shorts that talks all things brain and cracks all things cranium. A lot of us are all too familiar with the feeling of unrequited love. You like someone who doesn't like you back or has a partner and it leaves you crying into your pillow at night eating ice cream and feeling quite icky. During times of heartbreak we feel sadness, loneliness and start to worry if there's something inherently wrong with us, but on top of this emotional turmoil, many people describe this experience as physically painful as well. Some people describe it as a dull ache, others describe it as a sharp crushing sensation. It might last for a few seconds and then subside, or it might be more chronic. But why does heartbreak make us feel so crap? Unrequited love can feel like an undefinable source of pain, and this can be explained by new research that has found that the same areas of the brain involved in pain are activated during times of rejection. The research by the University of Michigan put people who'd recently experienced rejection in a functional MRI machine to monitor their brains in real time. They then showed them pictures of their exes or people who had rejected them, and then compared these neurological responses to pictures of their friends and their family. They then compared this brain activity to when the participants experienced a noxious stimuli. In other words, they dripped hot coffee on them. They found that when the emotions of the heartache were strong enough, when they viewed pictures of exes, their pain centres in their brain would activate. They found that the secondary somatosensory cortex and the dorsal posterior insula both activated when they were burnt with coffee and when they saw pictures of their exes. Both of these parts of the brain are involved in the perception of pain. So normally when we're in pain, we take a painkiller or a pill to help fix it. So can we do the same with heartache as well? Well, some research has found that over-the-counter painkillers can help to ease the pain of heartache. But if you're someone that experiences this regularly, it's probably not a good idea to start relying on painkillers. And if you've been through a bad breakup or been rejected, you have probably heard of the saying, you need to get under someone to get over someone. And some research has found this as quite true. Love is actually a pretty good painkiller. It activates some of the same parts of the brain as morphine. So whether that's a parent kissing their child's bruise or a friend giving you a hug when you need it most, love can release us of our pain. So that's it for this episode of Grey Matter. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for next time.